What up, fam? That went in here. I love these 8 bit remixes, man. Every stream I'll have another 8 bit song started off. One's The Difference Between Medicine and Poison is in the Dose by Circus Survive. Definitely a uh, flashback. Yeah, we're here getting back into Pokemon Fire Red, the Kaizo Ironmon challenge. Haven't heard of it before, or seen the past streams, or seen other streamers. Pretty much, uh, probably the hardest Pokemon challenge there is, and it takes a Fire Red game, randomizes it completely, boosts the opponents by 150% level boost, and you have to run a single Pokemon through the entire game without dying, and if you die, you reset. Moves are random. Everything's random. Up to the lo-fi bill and into it. So yeah, it uh in previous streams I in the first one specifically I kinda went over certain nuances of how this challenge works. And uh, I vocalized certain things as I was going through it. That's weird. Oh, uh, you know, maybe I've been on this file. Let's see, potion randomized into a potion. Unless that's just another time. One left in my mind. I didn't call it out. Sorry, but no, I have not been on this file. Uh, Slow King was psychic. Bit of a weirdo. I just wanted to hop on the stream a little bit and play this. I really just wanted to play this game, honestly. But the thing with it is, if I'm going to play it, I'm going to stream it. Because if I do happen to get on a run and it goes anywhere cool, I definitely want there to be evidence for it. Because everything's so up to RNG that unless... A run is completely transparent from start to finish it, it would probably be questioned and that's fair so if I'm playing this game I'm gonna be streaming it pretty excited to do it yesterday but I took a break off it um I'm gonna go left again it's the cloister And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna practice some vocals later for the people who know me. Um, vocal community stuff. I have a Laranoscopy coming up. I like, uh, Laranoscopy is basically where a speech pathologist or doctor, someone sticks a camera down your nose into your throat. The purpose of viewing your vocal folds and other things. And for the last five years, I've been doing research with that to kind of decode how different extreme vocals work. So metal screaming, throat singing, voice acting. The long story short is there isn't just the vocal folds. There's like numerous layers to the voice and modifications. Nice. We got a stone. And uh, so I've been kind of trying to catalog a variety of different techniques uh, mid gang this time. Got another old fish. Bother naming it. Got some speed and attack, but great mon. 35? Okay, well, it's not the worst, actually, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, so yeah, I've been kind of for many years kind of working in the shadows, not putting out vocal tutorials, uh, putting stuff into my vocal course, which you can find on my find links to on my main channel, which is linked in the description. Not really here trying to talk too much about the course on this channel. 
But basically, I've been doing this research. It's very interesting every time I do it. It's been like pretty much yearly most of the time, except for certain years. And uh, every time I do it, I learn so much more and like more breakthroughs come. And it's just, it just levels everything up completely in uh, mid gang. No, I missed Gary and I got a, why not? Damn it. No. Uh, so yeah, I for the last couple years I would think, oh, this got to be the last one, right? I gotta have enough by now. But then, um, you know, more discoveries lead to more questions, which which lead to more technique development, which leads to more, you know, wanting to go back and and capture what I need to capture. This year I feel like should be different. One, because I'm very I've been organizing a ton of content, basically like a book's worth of material for these videos. Over 100 pages easily. And uh, to simplify that and like systemize it, it's been the time consuming thing. But I've not been posting it for years because I've been trying to like sculpt it to near perfection, not in like a neurotically perfectionist way, but just like good enough. And, and get the science right, which is really hard in the area of, of voice. Um, and so anyways, Laronoscopy coming up, looking to capture some very high quality and obvious footage of, for example, the vocal folds, uh, basically doing projected Vryfex in an isolated way, which usually the false chords will be sort of masking if you're doing an actual like fry scream as people refer to it. Um, but that's not the case for everyone. So this whole, there's a lot of nuances mid gang. There's a lot of nuances with how the stuff works. And my job <laughs> that I've taken upon myself is basically to decode it, uh, upgrade and evolve systems to where it makes sense and is inclusive and a uh, comprehensive way. What, what am I even doing here? Oh, does this lack off have attack? Yes, it does. Weird. Hmm. Anyways, so um, the reason I'm streaming now is because I need to practice vocals and I don't know um, but I don't have had too much time to practice lately, so sometimes if I try weird, different, or new stuff that I'm not used to, which I will be doing um, for this, because kind of the gist of it is not only does just because I have data for certain techniques doesn't mean that the rest of them I, I can't I can't base conclusions on everything based only on a few techniques. So I'm just trying to diversify isolations and different techniques so that there's enough data there that when the conclusions are drawn in the official course material and free tutorials, it's not really, it, it's based on evidence and not like, I'm not trying to argue with anyone because <laughs> that, would, that would be unpleasant and I'm not really here for that. So, um, yeah, I've just been doing my due diligence to get that work done right. And, um, yeah, so I'm streaming, then I'm practicing and refining the list of what I'm going to capture for that. And, uh, actually not even if he had bolt. No, don't do it. Come on. No! <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's uh, what I'm doing today. It's just nice to play this game. Watching, chilling, and Quick GG play it for so long, and it's so entertaining. It's just, it, it's fun to be on the other side of the controller. I. Uh, mid gang. No, I missed Snorlax. And I got a Truant Gorbis, and he got a Snorlax. I should have gone left. I 
Hey, we actually got out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, well, actually, we got out. Forgot what true on. Ooh, okay. I would definitely say that I play Gen 1, 2, and 3 the most, and then Gen 4 a bit, but mostly Soul Silver, which is just a Gen 2 remake. So I'm just one of those classic dudes where, like, Gen 1 and 2 are kind of it, and, like, the, the peak of Pokemon for me, and then Gen 3 was pretty sweet. And Gen 4 was, like, alright, too. Um, and I remember I pretty much didn't... I think I bought... A Gen 5 game and then like opened it and like immediately was like, yeah, I'm not playing this. And then it wasn't until I was watching Chillin and Quick GG's versus Challenges that when they were playing Gen 5, I was like, okay, you know what? I'll give this a shot. And I played it and it was actually pretty good. Like nothing on the earlier gens, but like still pretty good. But then I, I think after that it moved to like 3DS or and onward and I never got those, so. Whatever Pokemon content I make will pretty much always be the early generations. I don't really have interest in the later ones. But I tell you, it's very medicinal to watch and play these early games. Oh, Flygon. Fuck with the Flygon, although it would be extremely weak to ice. Um. Yeah, super nourishing to play these games and regarding the grind that I've had to do for actual Unified Extreme Vocal Academy stuff, the whole thing, uh, it's nice to feel like, quote, content can be created easily for once and not just a massive undertaking every time. So... Partially to enjoy the game, partially as hanging out on a stream like this is really nice, and uh, and also just to mix it up. So like you know what? Not take content seriously for one. Nothing. Not a. Not everything has to be a freaking purpose-driven struggle. Well. I don't Yes, we'll go for something else. Well, hmm. Guess I'll go for Flygon and then not good. Flygon, where are you at? Oh, wait, please. Need it to be level 8, or else it'll pretty much die immediately for 
for sure. Just guaranteed. <laughs> Feel like no guarantee it's gonna be a runner anyway. Deck. Uh, four times a week to ice, which is very risky. I guess it. I guess it has okay resistance to ground, neutral to water. Unless it has. Special defense. Its highest stats, I guess. Ice would annihilate it. Another thing is because everything's randomized. It's not like you're just worried about ice Pokemon, even though that would be stab, which stands for same type attack bonus. Uh, for people who don't know, which means whatever the move. Wait, was it? Yeah, whatever the move's power is is increased by fifty percent when you have stab. But anything could have a nice move, so we could just be chilling towards the end of the the game and just something randomly hits you with a freaking blizzard and it's like, oh, well, that run done, back to the lab. Okay, I'm about to leave. If this thing doesn't appear level 8 to me in a, the next 3, I'm here to waste time. It's actually bizarre. I've never seen such a lack of level eights. All right, last one. All right. Oh. Good to know that there's a decent mon back there. Don't need it. Yes! Oh, that's awesome. We got a Snorlax here. Antiflosion? Oh, man. Okay. Well. They're around the same BST. I gotta think about this. Yes, the call is to try to scout them at lower levels. Lumberry's a great start. Actually, the Snorlax might not be an 8, because that Smoochum was 8. Eruption. Oh, right, and he is he's what the rival had. So, Eruption, Bubble Beam, Belly Drum, but that didn't do anything. 17, so he's fast. He has special attacking moves, but they're not... I mean, fair enough, but Eruption's a very strong move at full HP, so I don't think I'm going to go with Snorlax because it, uh, I'm just going to risk finding the tie. Because it looks like it has special attacking moves, but no special attack, so. And it's not appearing as level 8, so I'll try to find the attack lotion. And yes, I probably should heal before, but yeah, there's another one here, level 8. So yeah, the Snorlax isn't going to be a level 8 encounter. I would scout the Typhlosion, but I'm just going to catch it. I love for Alligator in Gen 2, but Typhlosion is definitely my another favorite starter that I used to go for. Are you kidding me? Let me out of here. No. Are you kidding me? I had a poke it all. Should have used it. Predge.
Unless that was a previous file. I can't actually remember what this file had. Right, mid. What a move set. At least part of it. That Dugong Right, but uh, pretty slow. Some attack. Barino. I can. Alright, Blubberino, let's see what you can do. Alright, we got attack. We're against a little tiny bird and we have rocks. So, uh, try it. Got him. That's. Uh, I mean, nah, without speed. Dugong's not that great of a Pokemon without speed. He's not a runner. Ooh, Sceptile. I loved Sceptile, and he's always my Gen 3 starter. Oh, Trico. Are you kidding me? This is why you can't have slow mons. I can't kill it either. <laughs> so it's like, I just have to try to run. Must have updated the patch because I thought it warped you back down to right here, but. A lot of stab moves. Certainly would not have to get the level eight this month, though. I go for this. Level 9 encounter immediately. Crazy. Oh man, it's babies on babies out here. That Blasty from the other day is looking better and better compared to everything else I've been getting.
Hmm. I guess the call is. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. Well, to salvage this file, I guess, uh, I guess the call is going to be maybe grabbing this ponyta, hoping it's fast and going for the step top. All right, I guess I could get a Broloom too. I still want Sceptile super effective with all its grass moves. Leave me alone. There. A Gorbis, come on. What is with this Gorbis? It's just like, yeah, I'm the one here now. They're just played already. Well, that's what happens sometimes with this challenge, guys. It just ends up being Rather uneventful, just from RNG. Hmm, left. Nothing for this. Fight a rock type with rock tomb and facade. There's, yeah, okay. left again. coat. I'm gonna die before I can do that. Just like that. Stone. 
evolve very few things. Mid. Yes! Oh, we got the Kingra from the favorites. Please be good. He's good. I mean, he's a glass cannon, but he's good. Oh my god, his defenses and his HP are so low. He's got amazing attack, pretty good speed. Okay, special attack. <laughs> um... He's a glass horse. What's another word for glass? You know what? I'm just going to call him. See. That one's for my homie, Big Danny. Okay, so we have attack. We have speed. We have a little special attack. The rival has a Chimeco, Chimecho, or whatever. We have crunch, so I guess I'm going to use that. Oh, no! He had exactly what he needed! Oh! That's so sad. That is literally. Pretty sure it's like one of the best dragon moves in this game. Kingdra's only weakness is dragon. I had no defensive stats. My super effective crunch did nothing to it. Oh man. Oh, I guess that's how it goes. Game says right there. I'll go right. No, I missed the Aerodactyl. I guess Porygon 2 is pretty good, though. We got more defensive. We got some attack. We got some defense, which is actually good, because this thing's one weakness is fighting. Okay. Um... Aerodactyl. Well, hoping this high jump kick does what we needed to do, and it didn't. I guess I could grass whistle. Beefy, uh, Mond have to face for an entire game, though. Got him. Dab, body slam, let's go. We got... Okay. 
Grass Whistle is... I think it is allowed, but I'm gonna get rid of it. 55 accuracy. Now, besides this being the most normal Mon ever, we have like the strongest normal moves in the game on this with attack and speed. But I don't think he's actually strong enough. His attack is not, the defense is, well, at least the defense is pulling from special attack. But the speeds, I can't tell the speed's a little too high, but the attack's not quite high enough, but I might run it. But the thing is, besides high jump kick, I don't know. I'll have to lose Crush Crawl oh, pretty, pretty quick. We get some more coverage. Maybe like a ground move. But, I mean, considering we haven't really got a runner this stream yet, I'm gonna go with Cyberdog. And if someone thinks it's pronounced Cyberdoge, you know, that can be your own thing. I'm not gonna judge. I just prefer Cyberdog personally. Yeah, uh, do I look at pivots? I guess I'll take a quick peek. A quick peek at pivots. And probably just... There. We got speed, right? So we should be okay. Hopefully we have enough speed that we can... Oh. Yeah, the only I mean, we got a level advantage, we got stab moves, we got decent stats, I guess. Relatively, in BS, BST Mon. Might as well just run it and hope that we get moves. get walled by something that resists us. I'm crazy, I'm just gonna keep going. God, seriously? Okay, so now we have two hundred percent accuracy normal moves. We this is literally all the best normal moves in the game, I'm pretty sure. Being offered to our normal decent mon, so that's that's pretty sweet. We have an inaccurate High power, this is like Earthquake for normals, but without accuracy. Or we have less, like not terrible accuracy, but like weaker and will lower defense potentially. Call me crazy, I think I'm gonna keep Crush Claw because I'm thinking I'm almost, I'm almost always going to use Body Slam, right? 100 accuracy stronger than this. 
Dream Speed, less PP. I'll use it if I need to for sure. Crush Claw, I'd only really use as a secondary move or to lower defense. And Egg Bomb would be like, I'm desperate. So call me crazy, but I am not going to learn Egg Bomb. Simply because it's inaccurate and it could be a desperation move but i also this crush crush claw has the defense lowering aspect and that could be completely clutch flash if i'm running out of pp i need it to hit uh and egg bomb would hit would naturally hit less when i maybe need it to so I guess it would have been 150 power but 75 accuracy that would basically make it, yeah, so you see how you could see, like, over here, like, the powers, this, each of these is actually multiplied uh, by 150%, so extreme speed usually does 80, because it's normal, and this mod is normal, it actually does 120, it adds 40 on. Um... So I guess that means body slams like up there too anyway, so Yeah, I don't know. I, I egg bomb would annihilate things, but I just I just didn't feel like it was the right call for right now. Be sweet to get another What do I need? I have to wait till 20. I guess that's what I have to Brock. It would be sweet to get another, um, either a fighting move that won't damage me if I miss, and body slam paralyzes it so good. Oh, I got flame bodied though. We have one more? No, we're okay. Um, burn's not good for us because burn. Paralysis will slow down a Pokemon, like cut their speed, whereas Burns cut your physical attack, which is all we have, so. Man, my attack is not looking incredible either, but somehow, oh, it's because Stab, right, yeah. So I'm like, somehow the attack's not amazing, but I'm still like clapping some cheeks here, but it's, it's really just the, uh, really just the Stab that's just pulling us through. So, I guess what we're hoping for is that when we're battling Brock, we'll probably get to level 20, assuming we get that far and don't get walled by something that resists normal. I mean, luckily we do have... I jump kick, which means if we saw like an Aggron or something, we'd be able to... But, and I saw PP Max as well, probably definitely PP Max Body Slam. That'll get us through Mount Moon and stuff if we get that far. But yeah, we're hoping for some type coverage, because right now, Shedinja would wall us. A couple things wouldn't be great, because I jump kips really inaccurate as well. Oh, I guess it's not the worst, but it's it's not great, and then if you miss, it hurts you, so... Remember this time to get repels and sell all this random crap I don't need. So weird they can't buy moons. Much to sell, but. Anyways, um, yeah, so I guess some kind of type coverage would be great. I mean, considering actually that. We can't hit Shedinja. Something like Shadow Ball would be amazing. That, or just in general, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb. Kind of like what we had on Blastoise. Be great. That being said, it's getting a little greedy considering we've just been offered fucking every amazing normal move in the game for level 10. Uh, just gotta... Work it out somehow, hopefully. Uh, 
I love that, man. The stab is so making up for the slightly lower attack. See, this guy needs to be hit by these. This actually could be bad for us. It misses, and then that's what happens. So I'm going to probably have to waste a heal here. There's no way. Darn. Yeah. Arrive. Oh, man. This is our only heal, too. All right. Well, okay. Oh, it was either we hit it or we die. With the grass. Oh, I thought. I didn't know there's grass there. Grass, though. Now we have no heals going into Brock, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We are pretty much done for. <laughs> Unless we just completely body everything. I got all that. Double check. I'm pretty sure I did, though. Oops. Yep. Well, I mean, that's what happens with this challenge. It's like you have certain aspects that are like crazy and others not so much. And it's all just up to chance. Wait. 17. I missed this guy, didn't I? Oh, that's probably why the rival fight almost ended me. Bummer. Some babies out here. All right, level 18, I guess, going into Brock. We can do, it's really just high jump kick. If that was like brick break or something, we'd be okay. But see here, this is a steel type. We need to do that, but we miss, we take, damage and we don't have any heals so it's just like oh no yeah i'm just gonna i could have crushed claude but i was just gonna just okay make sure it moves will hit all righty raging yes no Give us a good move. This is illegal. Bummer. Where's the next one? This is a baby. And that's a baby. I'm gonna use just this because I don't want to risk hurting myself. And that's a baby. Oh my god, give us one more baby after this and we're okay. One more baby. Oh my god, we have been spared. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. You never know. You just never know with this. Like, those could have all been, like, rock types. Oh! He just gave a sludge bomb! Please let me learn it. <laughs> no way! That's incredible. Blessed. Okay, we're we're forgetting Crush Claw, hundred percent. That's amazing. We're not we're not out of the woods yet, but that is huge. That's like the best poison type movement in the game, and it's and it's physical in this gen. Say for the hell of it. Oh man, okay, this guy's definitely looking more like a runner now. Oh, yeah, shield dust. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention. Shield dust prevents added effects, meaning I guess that if we get hit by poison sting, we're not going to get poisoned, which is amazing because that's, that's how the Blastoise run ended. So we have decent speed, super high defense. It's not the highest attack, but half our moves are stab. This is interesting. This is definitely interesting. This run keeps going. 
now at least we have the ability prevents out of I wonder if shield does perfect prevents us from being able to be like hit by like static and like stuff like that I'm not sure I'm gonna just keep on it's a little risky I should probably heal every time but the body slam's gonna do more nice and that's where we need high jump kick because if we didn't have high jump kick poison doesn't affect steel types First of all, and second of all, normal moves are very, very ineffective against steel types. So, yeah, high jump kick is definitely clutch. It's just, it's just very risky because at this point, it's just the damage we could take from missing it, which is like pretty, like quite possible. It, uh, It could it could easily end the run. Because um obviously we don't have heals. We don't have heals in general right now. Hopefully Mount Moon will change that, but just the fact that you have finite heals, you can't buy more. Wasting heals on dumb stuff like you missed a high jump kick. Not there's no room for that in this challenge. And I have to look it up. All swipe, just giving me the normal moves. That's a very weak one, though. Um, I have to look it up about shield dust, because if it's preventing us from getting staticed in poison point, that is massive. So massive. wonder, actually, click on this. No, unaffected by secondary. Okay, yeah, so. Not what I thought it was. That's okay, I guess. It just means that if someone's going to poison me from an attack, it won't happen, but. I don't know. Oh, see, there we go. That's, that's bad. I'm going to try it one more time kill um i also realized i have a pet a berry so at least i could heal poison if i absolutely needed to speed boost i think i have extreme speed and it was paralyzed that was dope noon Darn, so these are my moves for Mount Moon, I guess. Moves at 32. Probably, if I'm lucky, I'll only just get close to that by time out of Mount Moon. So the question is, do I PP Max Body Slam? I think I will, but I guess I'll just wait to see if I actually need it. Although, to be honest, I probably will. Plus, I guess it is my best move, because it's basically doing like... Half of 85 plus 85, so... It's somewhere over 120, 127 and a half. Something like that. No, oh, I'm just gonna roll in.
All right, well, it's time to buy more repels and then run. Right down. I'm gonna give you guys some notes. It's just to do it my own little way. Oregon. Good time. Yeah. The, the first part of this, I'm glad we're on a run now. The first part of this was a little rough with uh, just either losing in the lab or not getting far. Not finding a runner. I'll probably put some like comments or just stuff in the description for these streams just to like. I don't know, like. Um, obviously everyone, everyone does their things their own way. I haven't seen anyone do this. It's just how I do like vocal tutorials and like when I publish my work, it'll have this quality to it where I'm going to map the long videos with timestamps. So if someone just is like wanting to get to the good stuff, they can skip around and there'll be a system for that. I feel just cause that's kind of my style. I'll probably end up doing that here. Like, for example, I don't know, maybe as I'm going, like making notes of like, oh, that was a funny moment or this is when it got good. And then put a couple timestamps in the comments or the description about that. Like when 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 I got a Kingdra and then got annihilated immediately and then when uh, the Porygon 2 run started, why didn't I name this guy Cyberdog? Nice. Um, I mean, he, he definitely looks like a dog, sort of, but like a virtual one. Uh, anyways, so I, I should count one, two, three, four. I feel like it's actually probably, I can't remember if it's there and back. Let's can skip through it. I get those items to spawn in the cave. And hey, maybe we'll get return, which I guess is the only remaining strong normal move in the game that hasn't been offered to us. It's so crazy, we got body slam sludge bomb extreme speed though. Like, body slam's so huge. Extreme speed for the clutch when we need it. I jump kick just in case we get those steel types. I'd probably... If I got Shadow Ball now... Or Earthquake, I'd probably get rid of I jump kick. I feel like extreme speed's gonna be clutch. That's probably enough running. All right, Mount Moon, let's do it. Go get items. Please be here. Yes. Got the 30%, but not the 10s. We'll do everything we need to do. And then, um. um come back for that item there. Oh, that's close. Those. 
go finish. I don't think I have that many repills. Get enough money to get more. Yep, we like that. Lemonade, yes, okay, we've got some heals now. Alright, I'm gonna battle the mandatory ones. My jump kick super effective, but I'm just probably gonna just kind of liberally use body slam like a lot and EP max it. And with extreme speed, I'll probably just save it. Use body slam if I can, and if I get really tiny babies, I'll as well, I guess. Holy crap! Yeah, I guess I have no special D, hey. That's not good. Attack. Oh, nice. I got 69 speed. Pretty nice. All right. What am I going to do? 50. Arden Matt. Um, I mean, it would probably be better for us to clear this cave, so... I'll start with this guy if I can hurt him. How many repels? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go st start fighting. Maybe heal. Okay. I don't know. Did I just ruin this? I think it's going to be worthwhile to fight more trainers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run off this repel. Not a baby. A baby. Hmm, not a baby. Okay, and hopefully... this perfect now we got some health the reason i did that by the way is you can't heal outside of battle that's a big dog oh oh man look at that that was super effective we're so tanky <laughs> so tanky That's awesome. Because that was, 
you under normal circumstances like Porygon, I'm pretty sure it's only fighting, yeah. So we're only weak to fighting, which that was a super effective brick break from a freaking big guy. I am. Oh crap! I forgot I didn't. Have... Sweet. So we got some health. We got some PP. Maybe I can get away with this. Hopefully. Yeah. Save the rockets for blast. I'm not going to be trying to use my high jump kick EP. Right, this guy. That was risky. Man, more items. Like what do we got for PP? Sure. We're definitely starting to run low. Maybe I won't be greedy this time and I'll just take a uh, level 30. Last time with Blasty, I was on level 31 and I had the PP and I was like, fuck it, I'll just keep going and get all the like full clear and then I got poisoned and that's how I died. Bodies. Give us items spawned here. So we got the 30s, but did the ends? No. There's this rocket. The rockets are definitely stronger. These. I'm going to tuck them down in one. Yeah. Slapping some cheeks out here, man. What do I got? I got six body slams. The rocket here. There's one that we could accidentally run into on the way out. I'm gonna leave this one. Fight this guy. Fight the rocket on the way out. And if for some strange reason, okay, I need to save sludge bombs now just in case. Okay, so I have not that much left. So I'm going to fight this guy. He's probably one of the strongest in the whole cave. And then I'll try to intuit whether I go back for the last rocket for the here. Okay. <laughs> dude, we got 69 attack, dude. Sick, dude. <laughs> okay, so we got... Uh, I... Go big or go home, I guess, right? No, I didn't use it. How many repels? So I have 10 repels. Okay, so what I might do. And I'm fast. I'm gonna blow these repels. Try to get the last. Hopefully that this hope that this spawns the 10% items. And then I'm going to go fight the last guy to full clear the cave. I 
head in that now. Check here. Uh, nothing. Oh, we tried. This guy. Eat this guy. Full cleared. That's a special move, but luckily. And a baby. Sweet! It looks like we've gotten away with full clear in this place. Now, I guess the remaining thing to do is just see if we can spawn these items. How many were like one repel left. I fought everyone. Level 31, that's excellent. Now we're out of repels. We'll be doing this on the way out, but we're faster than everything, so. Okay. I'm gonna speed up. If we can get these 10%, that would be huge. Well, potentially. That would mean like, we've beaten the cave. We're faster than all the Pokemon we're gonna see. It's basically a matter of patience whether or not we get. And I spent all the money I had on repels, so it's like there's nothing more I could have done <laughs> to be better place in a better place right now to kind of run around for a bit should hopefully get enough steps in that these items spawn and if they do that there's at least four or five of them and having four or five extra items and potentially really good ones is always something in this challenge that you want to kind of go for if you can wish i wish the tracker had a step counter does it am i just silly Total steps. It does have a step counter. Okay, so total steps. 12,000. Twelve zero four seven. Oh, sorry, what am I doing? 12,000 divided by 1,500 is 8. Okay, so... Yeah, if we... That means that we literally just passed a threshold right now. Which means that if I have to do this this way, we're waiting around for a solid 1,500 steps. So if it's 12,048, we're looking at... Well, 12,000 actually, I mean, was the thing. So we're looking at 13,500 to get these. So I guess, I guess to skip ahead if you were watching this back, because I think I'm going to do it. Try to put myself in a better position. So I'm basically going to just run back and forth as much as I can. And if we get to 13,500 and there's no items, I'm going to be Sag.
mode is going to be more or less depressing to see how many steps have been taken so far. Okay. Okay, so that wasn't... That's not that bad. We just took about 500 steps since I checked, so, you know, just three times that, that's not the worst. I'm definitely looking forward to when I, you know, get this channel more out to the people who follow me for my other stuff and other people in the community who watch these kind of streams just to be able to chat a bit more in this meantime. I can definitely see how that would make it more fun. That being said, I'm just grateful that I'm on a run and playing this game right now. It's super nostalgic and interesting. Everything's always so unique. Nothing's ever the same. I guess is what gets boring about video games after a while. Like, I'm not sure I'd have the greatest time playing Pokemon Fire Red just over as per normal because that's like, oh yeah, beat it enough times and that. This challenge definitely keeps you on your toes. We're almost there. And the reason for that is apparently every 1500 steps, the game triggers a certain percent chance for items to spawn, like hidden items, and the one we're looking for is 10%. So we literally have a 10% chance after all this. Sometimes you get neither, sometimes you get... Uh, I guess that was a cool fairy encounter. Uh, yeah, sometimes you get neither, sometimes you get both, uh, or just one of them. I also didn't install the patch for later in the game, where there's other items um, that also might not spawn. I couldn't get it working, but uh, hopefully. Alright. Yay! Past the threshold. Now I just have to deal with wild Pokemon just because. Give me those items. Make it worth it. Ow! Okay. Well. Sag. Waste of time. Hey, that's the thing with these files, man. Some you you get positive aspects, you get neutral aspects, and you get negative aspects. Never know what you're gonna get.
All right, well, hey, we're out of the... We're out of the, the Mount Moon Cave. Nice. First time making it to Cerulean. Please, streaming. It just goes. Nice citrus berry. Put on berry. Rival fight time. Slap some cheeks, please. No! Oh my god. That could literally be it. That could be it right there. And pedal dance. God. This leech seed is gonna stay the whole time. Oh, and that's... It. Unless I could just... Unless I can one-shot, like, the rest of these guys. Which is kind of a stretch, considering we have fucking... Oh my god, and Sandstorm. Oh man, I'm gonna have to waste a heal on this for sure. And then we're basically just hoping that Aerodactyl goes down. Oh my god. The heal right now. And I feel like if I don't use a big one. Bleach, he's just gonna end me. And that would have ended me. And I have Sandstorm and Leech Seed now, so I'm almost down to where I just was. Almost. Okay, well this has to hit and it has to do a lot. No, oh, okay, we're dead. 100%. Oh, we tried. Damn. It was a fun one. That's the time wasting, but there were some blessings in that little run. Probably just do a couple more files here and then call it. Left. Oh, uh, Muck. That would have been cool. Oh, Lugia. Can't pick Lugia, so... Bulbasaur. Little Charmander, so I do that. He picks Bulbasaur, so if I pick this, he's going to pick... No, wait. I pick this, he picks the middle one. I think I could be totally wrong. Should be Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, right? So if I pick Charmander, he'll pick the Squirtle one. Wait. Yeah, I just didn't want him to have the Lugia anyways. I have nothing. No speed. Rounded stats otherwise. Odds is equal to one of those. And that's probably my life. Well.
left again. Oh, I keep missing Snorlax. That's, I'm just curious. I want to see how good he was. He is tanky. I guess he could have gone places, maybe. Must remind my soundproof. He just doesn't have any speed. Soundproof would prevent parasong and stuff. Or your ass, though. That's a stab spark. Spore is illegal outside the lab. Hundreds and uh. Percent sleep. Theoretically, be able to get out of the lab now. Hmm. Randomized Rattata on Route 1. Parishes, I might call the stream pretty. Charizard, it's slower than me. I guess he was level five. Good to know it's there. I'll go for the Charizard if there's nothing else up here that's more appealing. God damn it, leave me alone. You know what? Maybe I'll just pivot to the Charizard to see how it is. after. Not gonna be fast. Unless his speed somehow jumps up massively between levels 5 and 8. There we go. Back here. Um, 
Ooh, how convenient. things and he doesn't have things so attacks are highest stat but we only have dig he's getting there with speed I guess he's a little slow he has some defense which is good for rocks because a pebble will destroy us I guess I could run it or well it's fry by getting the rest of these items. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Stab Cloister or Stab Kingler. Stab Clank Kingler Hydro Pump. Right off the bat. Alright, I'm gonna try. Let's see how the next two files go. They aren't anything this yet. I feel like this game's a little, like, this challenge is a little addicting, like Rocket League. Like, yeah, this is the last game uh, mid. And then you get to the last game, you're like, now what? Alright, okay, well. Oh, well, I got Thunderbolt against a Swap Blue and Levitate Flying Hook. I never done that. I guess he's the special attack in Bureau, anyways. Got him. Mostly useless. I guess hotel's okay. I guess I should have gone with that. But I can get away from it. I'm gonna have 13 speed. Because it's probably slower. That one's faster, so it must be speed tied. Well, wall reigns here? I wonder if this guy's of late. speed and running away from everything doesn't mean good things for all the it's the uh, gramble honor of quick gg i'm not even interested.
Go away. It's wall rain, it is, hey. Oh, hold on. No. I don't have anything to fight it with, really. Yeah, I keep using synthesis. Yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't nickname it. Damn it. Well, whatever. So, I guess this will be the final thing here. No way. Fast. No attacking stats. You know, I'm gonna do it. Screw it. So, the thing with some Pokemon is you see this thing that says friend right here? So, that means it's a friendship evolution, which basically comes down to uh, number of steps taken. So, I mean, the stream is basically over. You're gonna, it's gonna be probably like 10 minutes of this right now. Just cause it's over. And I don't know. It'll probably be a long time before anyone gives a shit to watch even this part of a stream like this that's old. Um, but uh, yeah, so the homies will sometimes get a friendship evo like this and then and then run it the concerning thing is this might not even survive battle i just realized but uh, whatever i'm gonna do it anyways so yeah pretty much when you get a friendship evo like chancy golbat's another one the way evolutions work in this challenge is they're randomized, but they're relative to the BST of the Pokemon that the this Chansey, for example, would evolve into, which is a Blissey with 540 BST, which is like one of the highest ones. Like Blissey is one of the Pokemon people definitely go for and like and win this challenge, has won this challenge. So you either find that in the wild or in the lab, but when you have the opportunity, there's there's a whole map for percentage of like how likely it is to get any specific evolution out of this. But essentially what is being done now is running to change that where it says friend into soon. And that means that when it levels up, it's going to evolve because due to your steps, the friendship it feels towards you theoretically has increased enough that it wants to do that. So we're basically going to be just doing these laps for the next however long it takes, usually at least 10 minutes. When I'm watching streams and this is happening, I'm usually watching them back so I can skip um, and I'll just like roll and skip to where uh, things are moving again. Um, but yeah, so we're basically just going to be doing this until that changes. And then we have to go up to the forest, fight the first trainer, and hopefully win so that we can survive and evolve. Now, my faith in actually defeating anything with this chance is pretty low. It's way too fast. It has no special attack. Has only special attacking moves and then Nightshade. It is tanky. So assuming you get hit with special defending moves, it could survive, but it it it's a huge gamble. Since so I'm about to end the stream anyways, I'm just kinda like fuck it. Um But uh The thing is, once it evolves into whatever mon it evolves into, it's not gonna be Blissey. Most likely. It'll keep the moves. I guess we'll see if it keeps its ability, but its stats will be different, and the way the stats are distributed will be different. So right now we have a mon that isn't really that good, but after it evolves, it might be. 
We don't know. It's really just like a science experiment. Let's see what it so happens to evolve into. And then we'll probably dip. And this is assuming that we win the battle and can evolve. But even if it even if it doesn't win, I'm probably still after all this gonna just at least try. Uh, just going in and make it evolve just to see. We'll end the stream there, I think. Nice haircut I have. I go all natural another time. Corn dog straight to the corn. I'm feeling. Speed it up faster than this. To be honest. Doing this for about seven minutes, probably another three minutes. At least. game itself it's showing the running animation but in OBS it's right. there's a funny story I guess in the meantime so we have like back when I was a kid we had Game Boy Advance so we had Game Boy Advance SP and we I have three younger brothers and we all had a burst skin so we had like at least two two or three fire reds a couple leaf greens same thing with like ruby, sapphire, emerald, like tons of cartridges. And then my wife never grew up playing Pokemon. And so I bought her another fire red cartridge thinking like hopefully the battery's stronger in it and not gonna die and just like can just be her thing. Um, I don't wanna see her. And uh, she started playing it. And I tell you, it's amazing to see someone play Pokemon for the first time and just not know anything about it. Cause like anyone, I've met who will play Pokemon has played it before and kind of recognizes like what's going on and what to do and just watching over her shoulder seeing like where she went and the thought process and the ex exploration was just so funny and so wholesome. If I convince her later I definitely want to do a little series or at least a one-off video of, of just her playing Pokemon because she she's literally only got to like Brock not even maybe maybe just after Brock so she's still very fresh to it. Uh, get her on here with a fresh file and not not randomized of course just normal fire red and watch her play it will be a very funny video i think one day all right chancy you ready should say soon in a sec and long enough we're friends now Probably a little bit more running, but I'm just here maybe. Oh no. Oh, at least I'm fast. My items like actually. Got a poison heal.
full heal, that could be helpful. Been the end of us if I went a little far. Level 9. Holy Wrath can't escape? No. Okay, well, this is more dangerous than I thought, but we shouldn't see that guy again. How is he fast me? Had, oh my god, I had 23 speed. Are you serious? I thought we were totally fast enough to do this. battle and this thing just like fails epically a little bit Where's my soon? Go. Oh. My. Either my 10 minute prediction is just off and I'm rounding from my observations of other streams or it's taking just way too long. Special attack. Eight. Chansey, don't fail us now. I got some items, but I mean, the defense is. I mean, yeah, if we get hit by a fighting move, we're kind of screwed. Yep. Yeah. Well, burn them. Where's the burn? Yeah. 
HP up. Obis is strong with this one. tank what would it have had crazy attack no speed no special attack yeah wouldn't have been a runner anyway all right that's it for this stream. Going to this lab one last time. Load the next file, so that's where I start. Left. Weird guy. This doesn't let me out. I'm gonna laugh. I would think I should get out. Yes, but I'm not planning on running any island. As a special attacker when they should be. Honestly, I'm just waiting for this dude to get clapped on a pivot or something. I mean, I guess he's not an attacker, he's more expensive other stuff, but... Double weakness to flying. I'm pretty sure someone won this challenge with a hair cross before too, which is impressive. if this guy has Volt Absorb. That'd be crazy. Double weak to electricity. Get a Volt Absorb. Um. Last cannon. Means that even the like, 7 special D, the slightest, like, like, the static on your bed sheet would kill this thing. slash and ground pokemon in this gen really got it well i guess they just in general the ground pokemon from this gen just got a bad rap like sand slash and i actually personally really like doug trio they really uh their stats aren't good which is unfortunate because they're really cool pokemon but i guess also in this gen like sorry gen one Earthquake was like the strongest move in the game, so I guess if you gave the ground Pokemon really good stats like the others, I guess they would have been pretty overpowered. I think they got done a little dirty. Oh, 
Oh, I just went in with freaking Mantine. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let him kill this because I don't wanna. Like, this is a botched run, anyways. Now, I didn't mean to enter with Mantine, I meant to enter with freaking whatever the other guy was. Cancel that. Rare candy and it has dragon rage. Oh my god. Well, I didn't even get to look at its stats, honestly, so I have no idea. Dragon rage is cheesy in the early game because it's 40 damage guaranteed, so it basically claps everything in the forest. This is an attacking guy, it's not bad, although, I mean, the run's illegitimate because I started that battle with Mantine, but... So... He's more of a special attacker. Holy crap! 31 speed? He's more fast and especially tanky, which I guess is good for water and stuff. Definitely not an attacker. Mm, fuck it. What? I have two rare candies? This is funny. Okay, well, this run's just a joke at this point. This might happen from time to time. I guess I'll keep going with it just because it's like... We have a Mon who's not a runner with Dragon Rage. And he has like, oh, I should, I'm gonna return. He has like decent moves. Like return could be quite strong if I ran as much as I did with Chansey. Um, but I botched the first battle, so it's, Automatically doesn't count and there's no hope of this guy really going that far because soon as dragon rage isn't useful anymore Kind of screwed But There's also two rare candies, which is not funny A salad man Can you see him there? I'm just more curious. It's almost an extension of a science experiment for me. I'm like, okay, well, we have this crappy. Like, this is a special attacking Mon, theoretically, but really it's just fast and especially tanky with Dragon Rage. So that's the only reason it's killing anything. And then. I'm gonna learn moves, but not until like next level. Thinking, how funny would it be to see if this thing rock? If it sur happens to survive to that point, foresight. Never mind. survives you can see I guess I'll just try to take out the rival and then right before Brock like yeah Marty level 9 like what, what is going on here level 19 two rare candies in the pocket Illegitimate run, so none of this matters. This is literally for fun, which is really what 99.9% .9 of this challenge is, except, you know, fair enough, people take it more seriously. I already know that 
guys. One. TM29 is psychic. That's incredible because that's what it actually is <laughs> in the actual game. Got stuff to sell your repel amount doubles. Yeah, if anything, this is good practice at this point. Running through the game and already here. Right. Thinking I'm gonna clap this rival hopefully with Dragon Rage. For that. <sighs> Get to level 20 on the Jimmy before Brock. And then. These were candies and just see what happens, I guess. And then after that, I'm probably just going to reset. I'm just more curious. I don't actually want to spend too much time. Well. It's already at the place where Dragon Rage isn't going to do that much for us. Man, even if this file had a runner, it would be tough. At the time, I think it was with the Porygon too, like all the babies at Brock was like huge. Whereas here... Not what's happening. <laughs> so even with all that, nope, that's to be expected. All right, guys, that's the end of the stream. Just resetting the file, so I start with it next time. Let us change this. Says ninety two. All right. Well, thanks for watching. You did. I'll see you soon for some more streams. Much love. Out.